hello everyone hope you are all right in today's video i'm going to sew foxglove seeds and i'm going to show you step by step progress of these foxglove plants so here i have got this seed packet which is from Wilco, and here are the instructions how to grow them these are hardy biennials so they can survive the winter and you sow them one year and then they bloom for you next year so you have to sow them every couple of years for continuous blooms you can sew them from april to july anytime so this is the middle of july 2020 and i'm going to sow my seeds so here you can see these are really really tiny seeds and it's quite difficult to handle the tiny seeds so i'm just going to sprinkle them gently on the top of multi-purpose compost so i have got this seed starting tray and this row is for foxgloves i'm starting some other perennial plants as well from seeds so this video is focusing about foxgloves so i'm only going to talk about foxgloves so i'm sprinkling the few seeds in each cell and i'm not going to cover them because they are really tiny so this is after a few weeks and you can see i have got really good germination here almost all the seeds have germinated and these tiny seedlings are looking really beautiful so this is after a few weeks and i transplanted my tiny seedlings into their individual pots and now you can see they have grown nice and big looking really nice and green and i'm going to transplant them outside so this is nearly the end of september and i'm going to transplant my foxglove seedlings outside you can plant them in the ground or you can plant them in the container i'm going to plant them in the container so i have got two containers here and they are same size same shape so i have got multi-purpose compost in the container and i had summer annuals in this container which i have pulled out and i have amended the compost with a handful of uh, fish blood and bone fertilizer which has lots of phosphorus in it so it helps with root growth so i'm going to plant six to seven seedlings in this container this is like 45 centimeter diameter container and i can easily accommodate six to seven seedlings in here so you can see these seedlings are nice and big now and they can survive the cold frost so they will be fine outside in the container so i'm going to plant two containers and if i have some seedlings left i may plant them outside in my front garden so here you can see planting the seedlings is really easy i'm gently making a hole and putting the root ball inside the hole and pressing around it so there are no air pockets and after that i will water them the weather is starting to get colder but it's still okay we are towards the end of september so they still have one or two months uh, to grow a little bit more and settle in these pots before the hard frost hits so i think they will be all right and basically during the winter months i will keep an eye on them i live in a humid climate so i don't think i will need to water them uh, quite often but if you leave somewhere dry it's good idea to keep an eye on them and if the top inch feels dry you can water them so this is after five months and we are in the middle of march you can see my muscari and daffodil bulbs are blooming and my foxglove seedlings are still looking good they are looking a bit yellow but they have survived the winter and soon they will start to grow so this is after a few weeks and they are growing nice and green again they are putting on new leaves and i'm hopeful that i will be seeing them bloom soon so now we are in the middle of june 2021 and you can see my foxglove plants have got really lovely stalks of flowers they are blooming nice and beautiful really tall stalks and really beautiful and vibrant colors i'm really happy with how they have turned out they are very beautiful and attractive wildflowers and bees and butterflies absolutely love them i can see bees hovering on them humming around them all day long and i'm really happy with how they have grown they are like three to four feet tall and they are really eye catching and they are in their pots so you can grow them in the pots you can grow them in the garden they are really easy to grow and they are worth growing so you can start more seeds now in june or july and next year you will have these beautiful stalks of foxgloves and you will be really happy to see them in bloom and this bring a cottage feeling to your garden and i'm really happy with how they have turned out and i'm really amazed with their colors their texture and i can't really describe how beautiful they look they can also self-seed in your garden if you let them go to seed and basically they are really easy to grow you can collect the seeds you can let them self-sow 
so i think they are worth growing and they bring you a really satisfactory feeling and really rewarding experience so i'm hopeful that this video gives you plenty of information about growing fox gloves so if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye